Visitors at the Van Cortlandt Park Lake can now look forward to seeing some new guests swimming around. So I've been feeding them every day and I watch them grow. I watch them get big, you know, and it's, it's really amazing. It's like, you know, it's like something on National Geographic. Henry Cantor, the self-proclaimed bird man, comes each day to feed the swans and their babies bread. These swans gave birth to seven babies, and while all seven are not alive today, there are still five remaining. While the swans are not a native species to the lake, Christine Taylor, the director of programs at Van Cortlandt Park Alliance, admits the people who visit the lake love seeing them. Uh, people love them. I mean, they are a pretty animal, so people do love to see them and see them with their babies. Um, but we do caution people to keep a distance when watching them because swans are very aggressive, especially when it comes to their young. While visitors may enjoy seeing the family, they may not be seen together for much longer. So we do have concerns about non-native species in our lake. The swans, because here we only usually have two, once these babies grow up, the parents will actually kick them out. The bevy of swans kick their babies out in order to allow the male swan to reproduce. However, due to the swan's territorial nature, Taylor does not believe their reproduction will cause any foreseeable issues at the lake. We've seen in the past where another swan has tried to come in and they, you know, will not let it. Like, we'll watch them for days of the swan at the shore trying to get in and they'll just stop them every time they come in because this is their lake. So we don't ever get to the point where we have too many that could cause an issue. Other lakes do have that. Reporting for BronxNet, Jericho Tran.